Okay, so the answers to number 10, part A. So we have our equation and we've got to find the length of PQ. So in order to do this, I need to find out the coordinates, the actual x and y coordinates of P and Q. Well, I know that when x is 1, OK, I find that I can substitute that into my equation and I have that y equals 1 squared multiplied by 1 minus 6 plus 4 over 1. OK, simplifying this, we find that we have 1 take away 6 is negative 5, 1 times minus 5 is negative 5, plus 4 is negative 1. So therefore I have my point P at the point x is 1, y is negative 1. Similarly, I'm going to find the coordinates of Q and Q has an X coordinate of 2 so when X is 2 I find that Y will be equal to uh, we'll, we'll stick the value of 2 into the equation so we have Y equals 2 squared multiplied by 2 take away 6 plus 4 over 2 working this out what do we get? We get 2 take away 6 is minus 4 times 4 here that's minus 16 and 4 divided by 2 is 2 so minus 16 plus 2 is minus 14 so therefore Q is the point 2 negative 14 okay so let's just draw a little sketch over here just to illustrate our points P and Q where they are so this is the x-axis this is the y-axis so P is at the point 1 minus 1 so I'll pretend that 1 across 1 down let's imagine that's the point P at 1 minus 1 and Q is at the point 2 across 14 down so I'll imagine that's the point Q 2 14 minus 14 I should say okay and we're out to find the length from P to Q. Now in order to find lengths when we're given coordinates we're essentially using Pythagoras' theorem. Okay, Pythagoras' theorem relying on the fact that we've got a triangle running down through here and across here. A right angle triangle. Okay. So if I'm looking for the length PQ, okay, so let's just put therefore PQ equals Pythagoras' theorem then is this side squared plus this side squared equals PQ squared. So PQ would be the square root of the, those squares of those distances summed together. Now this distance is the difference between the x coordinates. So if I was to do 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1, and square it, that would give me that length across there, which is clearly one unit. And if I add it to the squares of the difference between the y coordinates, we have minus 1 minus the other y coordinate, minus 14, and square that. You'll notice that minus 1 minus minus 14 minus 1 plus 14 in other words is 13 this length down here is 13 units okay so what does this come to well 2 minus 1 as we said earlier is 1 so that's 1 squared is 1 and we have 13 here 13 squared is 169 so adding those two together we have the square root of 170 and that's what it asked us to prove for part A. The length of PQ was the root of 170. Alright, so I hope you got that.